Hi, it's Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. We're really going from one Kirby game to another, huh? On top of, like, everything else I've been recording. I haven't touched this, the N64, I think, since Banjo-Kazooie, which I'm gonna be honest, I'll just play that again when I'm in the mood. I kind of don't want to go back to Gobi's Valley. Um, I haven't really touched the 64 at all, now that I think about it. Because I've already played Paper Mario, like I played that on the Wii U, it's super fun. Um, and then Ocarina of Time I've never actually finished, no matter where I've played it, and I've literally never played Majora's Mask. Uh, 64, I, I played it originally with the Dreamland collection on the Wii, and then I started a file on here um, when I had my jaw surgery because I didn't want to do anything else, I was too tired. Uh, and I was collecting the crystal shards with that, but with this particular uh, playthrough for this channel, I'm just gonna like go through it normally. And I, if I get some of the shards, cool. If I don't, you know, it's too much of an effort for me. Even if I look up an internet guide, I'm just doing it like for funsies. It just feels like kind of the right time. I've always meant to play this one in the channel, but I thought I just literally just finished three like a couple minutes ago. And like 64 has like the same, it has like the vibes of 3 with like being a little faster, not as chill, but still pretty cutesy. So we're gonna get started with that. Hold on a moment. Oh? Is there no? Hold on. Suspend menu. Okay, the suspend menu is minus this time. Okay. So my first slot is the one I got all the way to world 4. We're going to make a new slot because I don't trust in-game saves. So we're going to go on uh, slot 2. That just threw me off. I'm used to the SNES one where you press the back buttons and I'm like, why isn't it working? Yeah, okay. Let's get started. And we are going to record these like probably level by level by the way, just like with 3. I feel like that's an easier format. It's like the food fairy, but it's just food. Then we get brought to the title screen. I always forget how tiny Ribbon is until I see her next to literally every other character, including Ribbon. This is from 2000, wow. Okay, yeah, so I got to World 4 on my first file, so that's on 62. I'm probably never going to finish it, but I don't want to mess with it. So we'll just start, yeah, file 2, I guess. Boop. Do you know how to use Kirby's copy ability? I'm surprised this one even has like a little intro thing. Yes, I know how to use the copy ability. Oh wait, shit. I didn't mean to press nope. <laughs> I meant to press yes. That's okay, you're gonna teach me how. I don't even know if B corresponds with B in the controller because with the e, they made X, or no, they made Y into the, the B to swallow things. I guess we have to watch this little intro now. I guess they do have to teach you to be fair about the ability combos because that's like literally just unique to this game. I like how they don't call it a copy ability. What the heck is CLR left? Oh, you can just press any of those buttons. Yeah, it's referred to as special powers in this game. That's kind of funny. So yeah, I can't be mad at them for having this because otherwise you wouldn't know unless you like probably accidentally did it yourself and you're like what the heck and the cool thing they don't tell you is that um, you can lift it your, your enemies above your head like you can lift that front to a bird, um, 
you can like fly in like a straight line for like five seconds. And I, yeah, that. You can do that. Oh, I didn't know you can just hold an enemy. I have an enemy actually. Good to know. Um, but yeah, honestly, the ability, uh, the copy ability combos are so cool in this game. I think it would be hard for them, like, hard for me to just resist the urge, you know? Do you want the instructions again? No oh, thanks. He doesn't even know her, and she's like, he's like, yeah, I'll help you out. And then the game starts off in the morning. It's so weird after story, especially because it's so stylized, with literally looking like colored pencil, which personally I think makes it age so well. Um, and then it's like, it's 3D. It's not perfect 3D, but it's 3D. That's cool anyway. Right, it's minus. I have to keep remembering it's minus to do with like anything in this game. That's gonna throw me off so much when I eventually get to world four and I'm like, wait a minute. Let's start with the first level. Wait, hold on. Why isn't Kirby moving? Oh, oh, that is so annoying actually. Okay, if you try and move like with a controller, and you try and move with like the joysticks, you can hear them on my thing. You can't move with the joysticks in this game. You have to use the little like B pad to do anything. And that is so okay, B is B this time and A is jumping for like every other part of the game, which is great. Um Why? Why can't you use the joysticks? This is an N64 game. We don't have an excuse. It is kind of hilarious to me. It's about to play three, like, with the joystick, and it's just running. Um, and then with this one, you have to use the D-pad. Oh, shit, wait, I, I, I taught me how to use it, and I completely forgot. I keep wanting to press Y to suck up enemies, because that's how it is. Five seconds ago, that's how I did anything, so... I do kind of- no, I don't actually like the arrow combo. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take me a bit to figure out <laughs> to get used to it. I mean, like, I know what it is, of course. That's okay, we're in the first level. Oh, I'm getting that right now. Oh, girl. I'm gonna do this. That's so crazy to me that they're like, let's do crazy the cutter ability and then it's just like Kirby um Kirby look oh no that's spike Kirby loses his face and every single um uh, copy ability is using the pages they all have combos you can buy, combine them with themselves too it's just crazy but it's awesome and that's just a, like a little long problem in this game, or like in this level for no reason. You're gonna have all of these mini bosses and like every single one of them. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a crystal shine. Um, every single one of them is basically just like a giant version of a normal enemy. It's kind of dumb, but whatever. Alright, we're gonna do that. Yeah, okay, I think that's how that works. Interesting. Oh, wait, I want to use it. Oh, yeah, he just turns in that. Some of these designs are, like, incredibly close, but also kind of clever. Like, three, I saw like the abilities were only wacky when you, like, combine them with a friend. And then, with this one, it's like, uh, you get, like, weird things like this. And it just never really feels that weird again. Well, actually, that's not true. I think the button man has some weird ones actually. That's okay. 
And then the colors for things like this stone also tell you what to do. Like this is a bomb of thing. But we're not collecting any of the stars, so I don't care. We're gonna just ignore all of them. We're not gonna like ignore all of them, but yeah. You know. The dark matter looks so weird to me in this game, like they had an eye and everything, and then here they just look like more spooky. I get Waddle Doo now. It's just a Waddle Doo. And it's not the ones where they have the- Oh, he cries if he fails! Is this all he can do? This is so funny to me. Oh my gosh, he literally can just hurt himself and cry. This is actually really sad. I'm so used to him having a name. Look at him, because he's just a waddle dee. From his perspective, it's probably like, you know, he had two eyes, and now he just has one eye, which probably is throwing him off so hard, and it's just one giant eye. That's gotta be kind of scary, I feel bad. And then he just sprouted hair for like, no reason. Do all the waddle dees have hair like that? That's so goofy looking. Oh my gosh, that was actually kind of sad. That felt even worse than the joke fight in Superstar in the game. And then he lost the hair. The hair was part of his, um, his transformation. Oh, and these little question mark cards, there's like a, like an enemy thing, um, Hey, we got it. I probably won't collect all of them, but at the end of every level, these friends have like a silly little picnic. Um, yeah. Oh, Quiet Forest. That's that's a good one, actually. It's a very nice level. Okay, well that's it for the first level. Um, I don't know how long these videos will be because sometimes these levels are like pretty long, honestly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but we're gonna start to this. This is like pretty chill for now. Um, yeah. Okay, I can't think of anything else to say here. Bye.